Come in, Volodya. Please, have a seat. Is that thing on? No. Don't worry about it. These tapes will be gathering dust deep down in some basement. Shut it off. Beklashi, but... Valeri. As you wish, Colonel. There is no room for the truth on that machine. That's a dangerous word, Volodya. Truth. Such an ambiguous concept. Stop it, Valeri. We are defeated here. I know it, and you know it too. I'm afraid that Moscow cannot accept it. I am not talking to Moscow. I am talking to you. And what exactly are you telling me? That I did not bring my men to America to commit mass suicide. And what is coming, I will need you with me. You can count on me, Volodya. I hope so, Valeri. Now, put that thing on and we'll get this done. Very well. Interview number 478, subject, Colonel Vladimir Pavlov. In his address to the party congress, the general secretary spoke of sacrifices made and sacrifices yet to come. But he emphasized that there is no doubt that we are winning this war and that the end is in sight. It was a rout. Our scattered forces headed for Seattle and the relief we hoped we would find there. To use a nuclear bomb on one's own country, it was insanity on a scale unmatched even by our own generals. It also destroyed what dreams we had left of ever achieving victory in America. <laughs> if it hadn't been for the Colonel, we wouldn't have known about Cascade Falls at all. Based on the communiques from Moscow, all was as fine as could be. And now that the Chinese had declared themselves our allies, victory was supposedly within reach. Again. But we knew better. Yeah, so call one. The Americans are trying to surround us, but they will not succeed. They needed a nuclear bomb to stop our brave comrades at Cascade Falls. And they will need another one to stop us now. Ural 5, what is the status of the convoy? The wounded are in good shape and we are ready to continue forward. Good. Romanov, you will command our frontal aviation assets and protect the convoy. This is Ural 5. We are moving out. Maloshenko will capture the radio relay station ahead and you must support him, Romanov. We can bring in the reinforcements as soon as it is secure. Heading for the position. Advancing at this time. Ural 5 here. I've ordered the convoy to continue north along the main highway. Excellent. We are moving. The Americans will not be able to hold us back. So call one. Out. Ural 5 here. Continuing ahead. Those trucks carry our infantry and our wounded Romano. We are utmost to protect them. Gavarit Malashenko, we do not have time for this delay. We should leave the wounded to the Americans. I will not surrender our comrades to the enemy. But they will slow us down. As will you if you do not get a move on. Advance and secure the radio relay station as planned. the relay station, securing the area now. Good. Make sure the radios remain functional. Of course, Colonel. Malashenko out. Destination received. Good, Captain. You are now responsible for protecting the convoy flanks. Understood. Malashenko out. So call one to all battle group elements. We have established contact with Army Command. Reinforcements are now available. Uro fight here. We are taking losses. Help them, Romano. Repairs now. Initiating field repairs. Orders. Am I 
side here. We've cleared the ambush. Moving at this time. Blotki, Amerikanskia. We will clear the surrounding area of enemy troops so that they don't surprise us again. Romanov, use your helicopters to scout our flanks. Destroy all enemies you find. Malashenko, report. Nomerid Malashenko. The flanks are secure at the moment, but we will have a hard time getting to Seattle at this pace. The Americans are everywhere. Da. It's a fine mess we have landed ourselves here. Such dreams. Such a disaster. Yes, Tavarish Commandeer. Initiating self-repairs. are moving more troops into the area. Destroy them for a while. about the countryside will lead us nowhere. Yet, Captain. To counterattack now would be foolish and rash. We will follow the plan. Area clear. Move on to the next waypoint, Romano. Ural 5 here. We are moving at this time. It is uh, unfortunate that we didn't succeed in Cascade Falls. Things would have been different. Yeah. But not necessarily better, comrade. Maybe not. We're heavily armed. Just point the way. We can repair anything. Stopping repairs now. Waiting for orders. Helicopter out. Them out, Lieutenant. Flying to the coordinates. Reproducing fire. Hostile initiating a heavy attack. Target the hostile LNG. Affirmative to which commanding. Heavy gunship ready for combat. Affirmative. I'm sending you for two. We'll destroy the Americans together. Fight here. 
We have incoming artillery. Spreading out now. Trot! Those artillery batteries must be dealt with. Romanov, I have a change of mission for you. You are to neutralize the American rocket launchers. We have their approximate locations marked for you. Recovery vehicle are heading for the position. No, that is not possible. Repairing our comrade. Tank hunter, we are moving out, Tavarish Commander. Destination flying to the destination. Armor here, Commander. Starting repairs now. Heavy gunship ready for combat. Lieutenant, but we still have much to do. Ural 5 here. We just lost a truck. The Americans have set up dug-in positions in and around the hills. These must be destroyed. Thank you. We're moving out. Departing. We have established contact with some fire support elements, Romanov. Call on them when needed. Lebedev na sviadi. Communications intercepts indicate an American command point to the north. Then we will destroy it as well. That should cripple them long enough for the convoy to escape. Duh. Then we can concentrate on the National Guard forces coming up from the south. Ural 5 here. Continuing ahead. This is Ural 5. We have several casualties from the barrage. This was unexpected. Try to protect what's left of the convoy, Romanov. We're repairing the target. Thank you. Affirmative. Flying to the coordinates. Dovery Konashenko, should we concentrate on moving forward? If we do so without clearing the area first, we will take heavy casualties. I protest this entire plan. Noted. Now get moving. Sokol 1, out. Armory, we're moving up now. They're out for us. Moving to the moon. We've got locking. Hostile being defeated. Ovatnik here reporting hostile casualties. MI-24. Closing in on the desert. 
This is Ural 5. We have incoming fire. Spreading out. Repairing and stopping repairs now. Affirmative line. Departing. British Committee repairing our comrade. Tank affirmative. Flying to the coordinates. Are you here? Payload dropped right on top of the enemy. Yeah, Having so call one. All strong points have been cleared. Malashenko, are you in position? This is a hot dip. Malashenko project. We are ready. Ural 5 here. We are holding until further notice. We have incoming American fighters. They are warthogs. Take cover. Pointing out. I didn't spot any enemies at the provided coordinates. Out. Romanov, you will provide air support to second company while they assault the command post. Want us to repair something? Heading for the position. Very Malashenko. You have yet to let me down, Ramana. Don't do so now. Advance! And watch for stray enemies attacking the convoy, Romano. Protection of the trucks is still your main priority. The convoy is under attack, Romano. Help them! Your orders! We're in a field departing. Very stopping move. Thank you, I need a command. The British coming. Armor moving, repairing our comrade. Right like mission received. This is Levy. The pursuing U.S. forces are now less than two kilometers away. They have been busy with the battle. Any word from Army Command on what the overall plan is? None, since the last call to rally at Seattle. We are getting sporadic transmissions from other battle groups, but nothing concrete. It is all falling apart. No! We will go to Seattle and let the Americans destroy themselves by attacking us. Yes, of course, Captain. Now secure that command post. It will soon be accomplished. Malashenko out. Targeting the convoy, Lieutenant. Next rendezvous point. The road is clear. Acknowledge, Sokol 1. See you there. Ural 5 out. Stopping repairs now. Ural 5 here. We are moving at this time. We run the gauntlet with only minimal losses. Thank you for the excellent support, Comrade Lieutenant. Want us to repair something? You protected the convoy and the wounded to the best of your abilities, Romano. Well done. Stopping repairs now. We can repair it. Now we must see to defending our rear while the convoy continues on. I have a plan for how we will proceed. Briefing in five minutes. Captain Malashenko and Major Lebedev, you will attend. The rest of you hold in place and stand guard. If we go to Seattle, we'll die in Seattle. The Americans will never allow the Chinese to land. We saw in Cascade Falls how far they are willing to go. What exactly are you saying? We're not going to Seattle. I've made preparations to take the men home. A ship is expecting us at this location tonight. What? And betray our country? It's the right thing to do. 
I'll accept full responsibility. Were you aware of He's this? He's not in command here. I am. Please try to understand, Nikolai. I am Captain Maloshenko of the Soviet Army, and you are acting like a traitor. I'm doing this for the men, Kulia. Those men don't belong to you. They belong to the state. My wife and daughter didn't die so that you can turn tail and run. But we don't belong here. This entire venture has been a full... <laughs> Thank you, comrade. Thank you. He was a traitor. I'm taking my company to Seattle. I'll bring the battalion. To victory. To victory. Time to choose, old friend. To all Sokol elements, this is Major Lebedev. The Colonel is dead. I am taking command. Captain Maloshenko and 2nd Company has moved ahead to Seattle. We must organize the rear guard. Romanov, establish a perimeter and hold off all American attacks. Uh, you will have to command some of the ground elements as well, Romanov. Do not let the Americans through. Set up defensive positions by the highway. Uh, I will see to the flanks. Frontal aviation will continue to fly sorties for us. Call them for air support. Recovery beam, heading, driving. Got a route, moving to location. Destination, we're moving out, Stephen. Moving to location. Our tracks are steady. Our tracks are steady. Tank hunter awaiting orders. We can... Our tracks are steady. We're heavily armed. Just point the way. Airborne. Destination, moving to location. Thank you, flying. Locking target. American ground forces approaching, and they have anti-air units. Be careful, Romanov. Proceed to the coordinates I'm about to send you. We will fight off the Americans here and then follow you. Understood. Maloshenko, acknowledge. This is Lebedev, calling Captain Maloshenko. Prion. They must have missed the frequency switch. Too bad. But we will manage without them. Romanov, you must... 
must hold for a little while longer. Then we will fall back for the next line of defense. Where do you want our firepower? What the hell? Helicopter is crowded. We've got a situation here. It commands, Tovarish Commander. Heading for the is our crew, yes. Initiating field repairs. Seattle. Yeah, the coordinates are correct. The road should be clear. We will meet you there. Uh, understood. Estimated arrival in three hours at present speed. We're out five out. The enemy has breached our defenses to the east. Watch your plans, Lieutenant. Watch out, that's it. Hang on. 
Time has come for us to retreat. We will not go to Seattle, but to an industrial harbor further north where a transport ship is waiting to take us home. This order comes directly from Army Command. Captain Maloshenko and 2nd Company will not be joining us. The Americans have a saying, live to fight another day. And that is exactly what we will do, comrades. And then we will honor the Colonel's memory by winning this war. Lebedev out. They say you're asking me for paper. I'm sorry, Comrade Major, but since Colonel Arlovsky is dead, Cap I can't Captain, without Captain, do you know who Comrade Minister Kravchenko is? Definitely, Admiral. Of course. He is the Minister of Defense. And my father-in-law. Do this, and I'll make sure you're duly rewarded for your selfless service to the state. Major, without some confirmation, I simply And then again, I could just have my men shoot you. Perhaps your second in command is more willing to listen. We'll leave with the tide. Good choice.
Tell the man.